Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on simplifying algebraic fractions where linear factorization of one of the numerator or denominator is required. Now let's just think in general how we simplify a fraction. If we had say 6 over 8, what we'd do is we look for a common factor. So what number goes into 6 and goes into 8? Well 2 is a factor of 6, 2 is a factor of 8 and you divide top and bottom by 2 and that would then give you 3 over 4. So the principle in general of simplifying fractions is to divide by a common factor. And it's no different here, except for we might have to factorise first. So the steps in general for simplifying algebraic fractions is to factorise where possible, and then secondly to divide by any common factors. So if we take the first one, we've got 3x plus 4 over 15x plus 20. So firstly, we factorise the top and the bottom. So, can we factorise this? Is there anything common to 3x and 4? No, there isn't, so that's just going to stay the same. But is there anything common to 15x and 20? Yes, they both have a common factor of 5. So we factorise the 5 out. 5 times what is 15x? Well, it's 3x. And 5 times what is 20? It's plus 4. Oh, now this is quite nice because we've got 3x plus 4 at the top and at the bottom. Now, some people just kind of like cross these out and they get a bit confused because if you cross that out, what's left at the top? Is it zero? Um, and that's why I think it's really careful to think about simplifying fractions by dividing. So we're going to divide the top and bottom of this fraction by 3x plus 4 because that's what's common to the top and the bottom. So if you divide the top by 3x plus 4, 3x plus 4 divided by 3x plus 4, Anything divided by self is 1, isn't it? If I had 10 divided by 10, that's 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 3x plus 4 divided by 3x plus 4 is 1. And now if we divide the bottom of this fraction, the denominator, by 3x plus 4, that just cancels this 3x plus 4 here. So I like to put a cross through it, and we're just left with that 5. Because if you have 5 times 3x plus 4, but then divide by 3x plus 4, that gets rid of it, you're just left with the 5. So we're left with a fifth. That's the final answer. And what about the second one? Again, we do step 1, which is to factorise the numerator and denominator. x plus 2, that doesn't really factorise. You can't take anything out there. But 2x squared and 4x, what do they have in common? Well, 2 and 4, they have a common factor of 2. But x squared and x have a common factor of x, don't they? And then we have a bracket. 2x times what is 2x squared? Well, we need additional x, because x times x will give you x squared. And then you've also got that 2. And then 2x times what is 4x? Well, we've already got the x there, so we just need to times by 2. Because then 2 times 2 is 4, and we'll get with the x, we'll get the 4x. And again... We just think, what can we divide the top and bottom of this fraction by? What's common? Well, x plus 2 is in common. So if we divide the top by x plus 2, we just get 1. So if I cross it out, I've got to replace it with 1, because I divide it by itself. x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 is just 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. And when I divide the bottom by x plus 2, you're just left with the 2x. So we're going to be left with that 1 at the top, and at the bottom, we're just left with 2x, and that's the final answer. 